Okay, so now we're gonna do an activation series. So Trevor's gonna start supine, so his back's on the ground. He's gonna make sure his feet are tucked to his hips. Okay, so he's gonna drive up through his heel, bring his hips up, pause at the top, and then back down. We'll get five to 10 reps here. All right, so now we're gonna show you a activation series. So Trevor's gonna start on his back in a supine position. He's gonna have his heels tucked to his butt. He's gonna drive up through his heels, squeezing his glutes at the top and then back down. We'll get five to 10 reps. From this, you're gonna roll over onto your side. Okay, so this is a lying T-spine rotation. Notice his back leg is straight. Top leg is bent at a 90. So if his left leg's over the top, his right hand is gonna pin his left leg down. With his left arm now, he's gonna work from out in front of his body and open up and track his hand with his eyes and try to drop that shoulder down to the ground. So we'll go five to 10 reps with this. Okay, now he'll be over in a prone position, meaning his chest is gonna be on the ground. Okay, so from here, we're gonna work our Blackburn series. So I's, T's, Y's, W's, and A's. So it's the alphabet. So first we're gonna start out arms straight ahead. So his thumbs are gonna be pointed up. He's gonna retract from his scaps and low trap. So go ahead and lift up and squeeze and then back down. Okay, so we'll get five to 10 reps depending. Move his hands out to the side. This is a Y, so it's a 45 degree angle. Same thing, retracting from his traps and scaps. Back down, getting a pause at the top from here. Even out farther, it's gonna be a T. Same thing, couple reps here. Good, drop his elbows in by his side, making a W or chicken wings, and from here he's gonna go ahead and retract again, pause at the top, back down. Good, that's the W. The last one is the A, where his arms are down by his side, palms are facing up towards the ceiling, and again, retracting now, pulling from his low back, mid to low back, and back down, five to 10 reps. Good, so from here we'll get in a quadruped position. This is another variation of a T-spine rotation. So what Trevor's gonna do is he's gonna move his right arm towards midline, okay? From this, he's gonna take his left hand, put it on the back side of his head, covering his ears as if he was combing his hair. Okay, he's gonna shift his hips back so it locks in his lumbar spine and isolating his T-spine or upper back. He's gonna to touch elbow to elbow and then twist up and track his elbow with his eyes. And we'll go five to 10 reps here. Okay, now we're gonna work a bird dog. Okay, so from this quadruped position, He's gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, so he's gonna extend out with his right arm, kicking his left, or left leg back, squeezing his glute, and then bring elbow to knee, and then back out, and then reset. And then switch sides. So out, in, out, reset. All right, so now we're gonna do a bodyweight squat. So Trevor's gonna get a good squat stance. Feet shoulder width, toes slightly out. He's gonna counterbalance with his arms out in front. Initiate by pushing his hips back and squat down to about 90 degrees and then back up. Good, we'll go five to 10 reps here. The last thing is we'll do some ankle pops. Okay, so ankle pops are gonna be nice and light from your feet, just to flexing and extend. Get about five to 10 there and you're good to go.